I like to be able to do what I can to keep a neighborhood looking, looking good. Tonight, a Topeka neighborhood is finally almost cleared up from storms earlier this week. One Topeka man decided to clear it up himself, but also got some unexpected help. That story coming up in just a few minutes. But first tonight, multiple communities take a hit from a round of severe weather. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rebecca Chung. Let's get straight over to Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller, who's been tracking these storms. And Matt, we also confirmed one tornado touched down earlier tonight. Can we expect more the rest of the night? No, not for our area. So the storm that produced the tornado northwest of Redding is actually still tornado warned in Franklin County outside of our viewing areas that continues to move away. Once those clear on out, we don't have a concern of severe weather here any longer after that. Those storms will continue to exit on out. And as you see them moving away again, the part of the areas well south of Ottawa, Kansas City's viewing area. That's why we're not uh, doing continuous coverage on that uh, storm any longer as it's exited our viewing area from the area of rotation. The storms themselves go all the way back to Lebo, though. These are not the severe portion of the thunderstorm, just some very heavy rain, northern coffee, southeastern Osage and kind of scattered across Osage County, winding down, though, at Wabansi County. Severe thunderstorm warning as the tornado warning has now been dropped for Franklin County. So Franklin and Anderson under a severe thunderstorm warning. There's still the flash flood warning for Gary County until 1215 in the morning. That is an area that picked up a swath of four to six inches of rainfall right along Interstate 70, causing some significant travel problems and also flooding issues in Junction City. It's currently 74 in Wichita. All the heat or sorry, 74 in Topeka. All the heat's down toward Wichita and down into Oklahoma. Our storms this evening broke the heat. It got incredibly muggy for a while. The dew points are now down and down to the 60s and lower 70s. Still 77 at Garnett ahead of that. We were all in the upper 70s for a while with really high uh, humidity levels, creating high heat index. Well, now these storms have moved on through and once they continue to push on out, we eventually get a front pushing through. Our winds turn to the north and northeast tomorrow and much nicer, quieter weather for your Saturday. I'll take a look at that coming up. All right, Matt, thank you. And we are getting new photos tonight of this storm cell. This photo was sent to us from Trina Tyler in Osage City, where you can see the massive storm circling around the area. And take a look at this in Junction City. This was earlier tonight. This was sent to us by Taylor Pender. Now, numerous streets are flooded after heavy rain drenched the area. Geary County Emergency Management tells us they got three inches of rain in just a few hours. They also say one building in downtown collapsed and trees and power lines are down. And right now, more than 6,000 Evergy customers across the state are without power. Currently in Junction City, more than 4,000 are affected. And just east of Topeka, nearly 600 people are also in the dark. Now we are working for you to keep you safe throughout the night. Be sure if you haven't already to download our free 27 News mobile app to make sure you're weather alert as we give you the latest updates.